the Prinsen Hof, one of the oldest castles in Grimberger, which is currently being restored, is actually not open to the public because of that, of course. But Mr. Steven de Walle, one of the people working on the restoration, he gave us the keys to the kingdom and allowed us to go inside the castle to create another beautiful Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. And for this rambling, I brought one of the releases in the Diageo special releases of this year. Let's find out which one. It's, it's one of the oldest. You'll be surprised. And here we are with the Glen Kinchy, 27 years old, in the Diageo Special Releases. Now, the Diageo Special Releases is a yearly returning series of beautiful single malts. And this time around, the Diageo Special Releases 2023 contained a Glen Kinchy, 27 years old. It's one of the oldest official Glen Kinchy bottlings around. And I have to say, I, I liked it quite a lot, as you can see. And I just had to share this with you because this is one of the highlights of this year's special releases for me at least. So 27 years old and bottled at 58.3% ABV. So it's not for the faint hearted, it's to be uh, approached with some respect. But then again, hey, this is an almost three decades old lowland um, uh, single malt. And it takes me back to the, uh, uh, only a few months ago, my wife and I were visiting uh, the Glen Kinchy Distillery and we had such a beautiful reception. So I was really looking forward to this one. And lo and behold, it is a beautiful single malt, and dare I say, one of the best Glen Kinchy I've had so far. But without further ado, let me share this with you. The Glen Kinchy, 27 years old, at 58.3% ABV on the nose. The name is the Floral Treasure, and as the name suggests, this is indeed quite a floral nose, but also, also quite fruity. I get some, I get some raspberries. I get some green banana, in fact, and something like, like pebbles and, and butter balls. But the, the thing that stands out most of this Glenkinsha is the elegance. It's a re really, really very elegant nose indeed. I could smell this all day. Anyway, I haven't got that, that kind of time, so on the palate. Mm. Now on the palate. It's a bit of a different story. Turns out that this beautiful, elegant lady is actually one not to be trifled with. It's a lady with balls, so to speak. Because, well, despite the high ABV, it does not need water, but it does have quite a sturdy arrival. But then again, everything that I've got from, from the nose returns on the palate, but in twofold. Very broad spectrum indeed. Uh, in terms of spiciness, whew, it's a kick to the teeth. So it's not your... You know, it's not, it's not your typical lowlander sort of female and aperitif style whiskey. This is already quite a mature and beautifully spicy, strong, broad and aromatic Glen Kinchy. Indeed, quite beautiful. The 58.3, you do feel it though on the finish. Mmm, nicely long finish. And towards the end, it becomes slightly drying. The spiciness lingers beautifully, and at the end there is this, this, this beautiful touch of tiger balm, making you, it all go down rather smoothly. And then, basically, that means that the beautiful lowland style returns in that outstanding finish. Now, this is one of the oldest official releases of Glen Kinchy, as I've said before, 27 years old, almost three decades in a cask. Turned out to be absolutely stunning. And although this is one of the more expensive ones in the series, in my neck of the woods, this will set you back about 400 euros. Nevertheless, outstanding single malt. One of the highlights of the Diageo special releases of this year. And, well, if it were up to me, highly recommend it. And that's all for this Whisker Rambling. And I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whisker Rambling real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you.